hey, I'm using autopilot. I want to show you something here. See this, these dotted lines on the deceleration lane? That really helps with autopilot. There's many deceleration lanes and acceleration lanes that don't have them. And if it doesn't have them, what happens is the wheel jerks over. Right? If it's a deceleration lane to the right, it'll jerk over. Even here, let's see how it does on the acceleration lane. See, this one's got some dotted lines. A lot of them don't have lines at all. And see here, they end here. This is where it gets a little confused. Is it, yeah, see how it drops off a little bit? It got confused, but it'll recover. But here's another acceleration lane. Let's see how it handles this one. Dotted lines, dotted lines, goes away. See, it gets confused. Still confused, but it's hanging on. And it should recover here. There it is. You can see that? So I have a feeling that people who make roads in order to make self-driving vehicles operate correctly, they're gonna to have to make sure that all the acceleration and deceleration lanes have dotted lines as long as possible. Some acceleration and deceleration lanes don't have those those spots where the dotted lines end. They have dotted lines the entire length and that operates smooth as silk, smooth as glass, smooth as whatever you want to call it. In my opinion, that's the way all acceleration and deceleration lanes should be. They should have dotted lines like close. See how these dotted lines are far away to separate regular lanes? Well the close, real close smaller lane markings, that's what they should have. And unfortunately, there are many acceleration and deceleration lanes that don't have any lines at all. They just open wide to, a, to what the computer appears as a double wide lane. And a lot of times it just takes me straight off the, off the road, off the highway. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but if you have, please comment you know, on this video and let me know because I'm curious as to your experience. But to me, those are just flat out dangerous. It seems to me that any of those need to be repaired and lines need to be put in them as soon as possible. And I don't know if that's a state thing, a local thing or whatever, but it should be a national thing if these if self-driving vehicles are gonna be allowed to um, you know, take over the streets. So give me your uh, your experiences on that. Any any disastrous situations? I hope not, but I can see that being possible. I've had to save myself on autopilot on some of these roads that have the acceleration and deceleration lines not marked. Well, let's check out this, this is a way station. This is marked the whole way. See, look at this. This is what I'm talking about, the whole way. See that? This is the way it needs to be, and it's fine. See, it's, it's, it's not noticing anything different. The computer thinks it's tracking totally straight. But, like I said, if, it, if that was wide open and there was no lanes, imagine what it might have done. Let's see, I have a feeling on this one, it'll probably be the same thing. It'll probably, if it was marked all the way on the deceleration, it'll probably be marked all the way on the acceleration. Let's see, yeah. It, it, uh, see, what well, ends here, it ends again. So why, why the inconsistency? I don't know. I'm on the same road. US 60, Washington, Obviously, North Carolina. there's no plan in place Men's that's like a, right. a national plan. That's what's needed. Oh, sorry about ways it keeps going. That's what's needed. Some kind of national plan, some kind of national standards on this. Because obviously on the same Interstate 64 here heading west in towards Richmond, there's inconsistency all over the place in the way those things are handled. Actually, I'm going to get off here. Now look, I'm going to get off here because I'm going to 295. Watch. It'll actually make a lane change into the deceleration lane because it's marked. See? See here? It's marked. Let's see. Will it? Will it change? Yes, it will. Excellent. And it was marked. So it didn't get, it didn't get uh, flustered or anything. Anyway, that's the way I think that's what should happen. A national standard for these acceleration and deceleration lane markings. What do you think? Exit right to exit 200, I-295, US 60, Washington, Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Give me some comments in the below. state to the right to I-295, North Washington. Give me some comments below and look, I'm actually taking this exit with autopilot and I can because of the lane markings and because it's a limited access highway too. I've done this one before actually, it's one of the few. State to the right to I-295, North Washington. Look at this, it's a little hairy. This guy looks a little impatient. But we're still doing autopilot, just to show you that it can work on an on a interchange. And I'm gonna try to change lanes here in the interchange. I gotta get over anyway. It did that really well. Increase the speed. So this is like a dual purpose video now. 
and you can see we're back on the highway and it did it all by itself anyway look for your comments thanks